Get you back up. I didn't say I was ready yet, dude. How's it going? It's going well. You're okay, cool. Okay. <clears throat> what are we doing? I'm gonna intro it. Just give me a second. Oh. Uh, hey, so I have a new. Oh my god. Hey, I have a new guitar here, and I have about five minutes before I have to leave for band practice to go write some stuff. And I've got Claire behind the camera, a very talented camera smith. Goes over. We're in the bedroom right now because there was too much stuff out in the living room, and I didn't want to move a bunch of stuff. So far, Claire has said nothing. I'm just trying to do a good job so people <laughs> aren't mean about it. Oh, I thought it was funny, some of those comments. Yeah, they're funny. Some of the comments are funny. <clears throat> they're funny. I'm just kidding. I want you to watch the video. This is clearly a base case. Yeah. It's very long. Oh, and they sent us a little mask. Very good. Uh, you gotta flip it up. There you go. <laughs> it's meant for people with really big faces, apparently. I don't have a very big face, uh, but very cool. You got a tiny little face. You got a tiny little face. So here I am with my tiny face, with my new big guitar. So this, oh, maybe this isn't a bass case. No, it's a bass case. Yeah, that's a bass case. So this is a, a new design. It's a, an Aries 8 string, but has a brand new headstock shape. I'm very, very excited. Let's open it. I think I just heard you gasp. Well, I'm I'm getting ready to do a thing. Oh, you got a bit going on. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, now I'm excited about the bit. Well, you got to do it for me right. to do the bit. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. So awesome. Whoa, dude. Did they do a neck? Whoa. No, it's a um, it's a Bolton Aries. It's my first Bolton Kiesel guitar. Cool. Wow, that neck is really thin too, dude. Holy shit, that headstock is so crazy. Damn, that looks awesome. Wow. Ooh, the knob is very tight. Five-way selector. Wait. <laughs> what are you doing? I want to feel them. Oh, I see. Uh, Five-piece uh, walnut maple neck. Wow, that's sweet. And then it's got the Luminlay fret dots with the K at the 12th fret. Dude, that headstock is really cool. Dude, yeah, you gotta feel, you gotta... The headstock looks so cool. Dude, you are gonna look down this neck of this headstock of this guitar and you're gonna be so jealous. The thing I really wanted with this guitar was to look down the neck and be like, that looks like a sword. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. I think that's the most badass case of look I've ever seen. It's so vicious looking. Uh, do you wanna check it out? Mm -hmm. so cool. Does it look like a sword when you look down the neck? Yeah, it looks like a sword. Holy shit, there's so much extra. That's what I was saying, dude. It's like a sword. Yeah, dude. Wow. This feels really good. Check out the input jack. It's a golden input jack. Whoa. It's cool. It's made in the USA. Made in the USA. It was made in Escondido, California. It feels so good. I love the fucking, this is like a satin matte black. So, I have this on because of, uh, I was trying to dampen my voice. Claire was trying to dampen her voice. As the cameraman. It looks fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah, it looks so mean, dude. World's most aggressive. It's the it's the world's most aggressive headstock. I've yeah. yeah. It's so long. Yeah. It's a fucking saber, dude. It's a saber. Well, this I, is a Kachaturian guitar. Kachaturian? Yeah. It's like Kachaturian chicken Kachatori. No. no. Oh, it sounds great, but you look really weird right now with that fucking. <laughs> you look like a bearded dragon. <laughs> I am a bearded dragon. From the headstock to me. That looks fucking sweet. Well, it's our new son. Welcome to our family. Welcome to our family. Alright, I'm gonna go try out this guitar at band practice. We're gonna go write some new music. Very good. Alright, so I've spent about a day with this guitar now, and it's great. Yesterday we went to band practice. We were writing some new music, and I was just very inspired and blown away by how sword-like the tip of this guitar is the headstock, not the tip. Nobody calls it the tip. This is the headstock. Why would I call it the tip? It's creepy to say that. So here's the tip of the guitar. It's very sharp and sword-like. It's eight in a line reverse headstock. And uh, the thing I found about this guitar is it's a little bit more snappy, if I may be so bold, because of the bolt-on neck. I think that gives it a bit brighter of a tone. I don't really know too much. I sort of just defer to the guys at Kiesel for their expertise in this. One thing you'll notice about the matte finish is it's going to get a little bit more fingerprinty, and that's 
just how like the nature of it you can see just like some of the smudges and stuff like that i actually like this it makes it look more weathered i'm not really the biggest fan of like clean perfect guitars i would rather have a guitar that's a bit more aged and like stressed it has the ebony uh less variation fretboard and these are glow in the dark fret dots too if you have a guitar like this or if you're looking at, at a guitar like this you won't be able to see too much of it here but you can actually take a little light like a little flashlight and you can sort of charge up these luminlay fret dots and it looks pretty cool on stage i've actually been saved quite a few times on a really really dark stage so you can see how well you can really see how much that glows actually Wow, I was expecting it to look like nothing, but all of the fret dots do that. Yeah, this is a new headstock shape. Like I said, it's based off of the Marka Kubo 7-string that Kiesel put out. That headstock, I, I saw it at NAMM in 2020, so that was this year, and I was like, holy shit, that's so cool. I wonder if you guys could make that in an 8-string. And they didn't until I bugged Jeff enough, and then finally they did. One of the problems with having an 8-string is that when you first get it, that's all you want to do. It's just the bop, 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 and it's a fight against that. So I've fought, and I feel like I've won because I generally don't do that very much. But it is very satisfying to hit that low string with a tight gait and a tight rhythm tone. And you get that really satisfying chuggy sound. I think these are the lithium pickups as well. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's just Kiesel Lithium, Gold Hardware, Hipshot Bridge, Five Piece Maple Walnut neck it's a string through bridge which is very nice for on tour you can just throw th strings through there i have the uh, locking tuners here i'll do a close-up of the neck real quick or the headstock rather i mean that's like the most badass looking headstock i've ever seen all right i'll play a couple riffs and i hope you enjoy how it sounds <laughs> Um, yeah, these are elixir strings, so they're not exactly what I'm used to. They're a bit more slippery. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And watch out for this guitar on pretty much every video that I ever do from now on because I love it. Thanks. Goodbye.